gonna go through more of the hip stuff today. And so it'll be more more of the seated sequence. And yeah, more opening the hips. So we'll do a couple of extra things as well. Uh it's like out of series. So you can help us get there a little bit. We're gonna start um, by uh, warming up our hips as well as the wrist today. So then we'll get feet out. Mat. I'm going to start by holding underneath the knee, hugging the knee up close to you. I'm going to start just by extending and straightening through the joints. And then taking circles one way, three, four, five, and then the other way, three, four, five. Bring that ankle just above your knee. You can bubble your knee there for a second, see how that feels. If you want to be further up, can be anywhere up the thigh, all the way up into the groin. If you're happy in a half lotus in a place, and you can bobble it here. And then you're going a little bit more uh, um, and concentrated the way up. Yeah, I can't think of that word. word. Oh, I don't know, it's gone. Oh. Now we're going to take circles as well. So as much as you can, Moving the knee in a circle, so we're moving it into the hip. And your foot might come off, and that's okay. And circles the other way. So we're just warming up the joints. This is a quite an interesting place to see uh, what your flexibility is when you're cold and you haven't done anything yet. And that can be a helpful indication of where you can get to. Uh, for our last one, we're going to, if you can, Hook, pick up our foot, and we might just cradle here, holding on their hand, or you might cradle it into the elbow and clasp the fingers. So we'll have it quite far away from you here, or it could be super in and close to the bell, like you're cuddling a baby. Let's go the other side, so the right foot goes down. Left knee comes up, start with your knee, up and down. No harm giving the knee a little warm up as well. And around. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Intentional, that's the word I was thinking of. Okay, left ankle on top of the, just above the knee, on the, on the bottom of the thigh there. You can bubble about, see. How does that feel? Do you want to be further up, further up, further up, as far as you're comfortable and happy going, and then moving intentionally up, and down, up, and down. And then circles. And paying attention to maybe seeing if one side feels like there's more movement, change the direction, or less movement than the other side, because they're going to be a bit different. You know, it's always a bit easier for one person to get to one side first and then the other. So it's helpful just to be aware of what those look like. We're picking up our foot, coming it in like a little seated pigeon -y kind of thing. So you're holding onto the foot, or totally cradling the calves and the foot, their arms. All right, coming back on your hands and knees, we're going to warm up the wrists, so their toes feet together, knees slightly apart, hands down, fingertips quite close, and we can start by rocking one side to the other. See how that feels, stretch you to different sides, and then pushing through the heels of the hands, slightly rounding to the back, and pushing, pushing down. Leaning forward, coming up off your heels, and trying to lift the fingers. Lift the left heels, push down. Fingers are trying to lift them. And then coming down, interesting your fingers, sitting on our heels. Here's the bank one way, the other way. Shake it out, shake it out. And stand up, we come to the top of our mats. We're ready to begin. Begin the Ashtanga. So do it, and then so. Here today. So, 
down to the top of our mats. Okay, we can do it together or hip width apart. So you find the grounding into your feet. So close your eyes, slightly walk backwards, forwards, left, right. Try to find those three corners of the feet, that triangle shape behind the big toe, behind the baby toe, and at the back of the heel. So try to get that grounding in. Start by lifting up her toes, all the toes, and then press down the big toe, spread, relax down the little toes. I'll go again, pick up all the toes, press down the big toe, relax and spread, little toes. Your bum tends to stick out, Bring your hands to your hips, gently tuck it under. Pull the shoulders up to the ears, back, down, extend the arms, palms facing in towards you. Chin parallel with the mat, we're not looking up, we're not looking down. Just tuck it in so your spine is long all the way from the sitting bone up to the neck. Throw the belly button in towards the spine, our core lock or Uriana Bandha. Option to go for the mula band, like you're squeezing the pelvic floor, like you really squeeze and lower go. We're going to start with our ujjayi breath. So we're contracting the throat on the exhale. We can start with the mouth open. Sound of the sea. Pretend we're in Koyan. Yon. Force of clock. Going with the mouth pose. Fraction of the throat. When we exhale, hugging everything in. Lightening up the body. Crafting all the energy inside us, getting warm from the inside. And the outside because it's summer. Next inhale, we float our arms up. Inhale. Exhale, our arms float down along our sides, just aligning the breath to the movement. Inhale, we reach the arms up. Exhale, we float the arms down. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips, back around the knees and look towards them. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the leg, lengthen the arms, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your palms and step back, high plank. Push them out away from you. And then lower the knees down. Hinge forward with the body, hug the elbows in towards the body. And inhale, upward dog, up. straight arms, straight legs. Push yourselves up to the heels of your hands. Squeeze your glutes. Exhaling back to a downward facing dog. You can paddle to the downward dog as we get ready to warm up the hamstrings. You can pulse to the shoulders, to the chest, opening up the shoulders if you feel very tight there. We stay for five long breaths. Four, try not to put in your breath. Relax, the breath is suitable for you. Three. Pushing the hands, the mat away from you, looking towards your toes, your knees are up to your navel. Two. Slow, steady, calm breaths. One. Look forward, bend the knees. Step forwards, flat back. Inhale, flat, lengthen it long. Exhale. Forward fold, look towards me. Inhale, press to the feet, lift all the way up. Standing, reach the arms up, palms apart, or together. Exhale, arms down, stand as you see. Bathe the tip of your nose or straight ahead. Inhale, we go again. Exhale, we fold, hinge on the hips, weight forward, go down. Inhale, flat back, lengthen as long as you can. Exhale, plant the palms and step back, high plank, lowering knees, and then lowering the chest like a straight line. Inhale, upward dog. 
Point the toes, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. We stay again for five, hands about, shoulder width apart, feet about, hip width apart. Four, you feel like you're feeling super tight in the calves, you might want to baby step your dog in a little bit. Feeling super tight in the hamstrings, maybe baby step the dog back a little bit. Find the dog that works for you. Three, breathing, calm, steady. Remember the bandas, pull the belly in, lengthen, get long. Two, one, look forward, bend the knees, step forwards, lap back, inhale. Exhale, for fold. Micro bend the knees, all is good. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Exhale, arms come down. So CTD, we go again. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe a hop this time. Inhale, flat back. If you're hopping, you plant the palms and push into the shoulders as you hop back. High plank. And lower down either with the knees or chaturanga if it's in your practice. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, we stay for five. Roll the shoulders out and away from the ears. Four, three, two. Let the sitting bones up, 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 up. Push the down, 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 two, nearly there, one, look forward, bend the knees if you're hopping, draw the leg of your feet, and hop, hop with the mat, inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale all the way up, exhale, arms come down, sun is to key, one more time for today, inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Match your palms, step or hopping. High plank, lower it down. Exhale, one breath. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for five. Four, try to push, push the mat away. Try to get the hands as far away as you, and from your body as you can. Four. Three, two, one, look forward, bend your knees, stepping or little hop, top of your mat, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, inhale, all the way up, root to rise, exhale, arms down, center seat the heat, Surya Namaskar, V, bend your knees, swing to chair pose. Inhale, reach your arms, weight in the back of the feet. Exhale, forward fold, look down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palm, step or hopping it back. Lower it down, chaturanga, smooth exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Nice, good job. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward as far as you can. Either stay on the ball with the left foot or spin the heel down. Rise up. Warrior one, hips try to push forwards. Arms up, look up. Exhale, palms down, sit back. Chaturanga or knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot steps forward. A little help to get your foot there. Off, option to spin the heel down or leave it lifted. Inhale, hips forwards, look up. Exhale, palms down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we can always roll back from the knees all the way up to your downward dog. Same for five. Four, looking towards the toes, the knees are up to the navel. There's always a place to look. In Ashtanga, three. Pressing the fingers down, the knuckles. Two. One, look forward, bend 
the knees. Step, walk or hop. Hop of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the weight forwards. Bend the knees. Bring your chair. We're in the back of the feet. Exhale. Samasiddhi, arms together. Inhale, bend the knees and go again. Chair pose. Exhale, first fold. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step or hop, high plank, knees chest chin or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, deep breath out. Right foot steps forwards. Bend the heel, keep it lifted. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, punch and step it back. Chaturanga or knees chest chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forwards. Motion to keep the heel lifted or spin it down. Inhale, warrior one. Look up, palms apart or together. Exhale, hands down. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Remember, either going, lifting over the feet, tucking the toes, or we can move up through the knees. Options, good options. Five, four, three, keep the breath slow and steady. Two, one, look forward, bend your knees. Step walk forward, little hop, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Look up, reach, make the palms touch. Exhale, hands down. Samasitsuki. One more time. Bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or hop it back. Lower it down. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, right foot steps forwards. Option to keep the heel up, option to spin it down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, step it back, knees chest chin, or chandaranga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, left foot steps forwards. Option to spin the heel or keep it down. Inhale, keep it up even. Warrior one. Exhale, step back. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. We stay for five. Last one. Four. Three. Two. One. Look forward. Bend the knee. Step. Walk or hop. Top of the mat, inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the shin, the ankles, or the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, finish chair pose, look up. Exhale, hands down, sana seats key. Stepping our feet, hip width apart. We're going to start with uh, just a hanging forward fold. So bend your knees, soften, come down, hold the elbows, and hang here. For five, four, three, just back it up, two, bring the weight forwards, one, let the hands come down, take your big toes or your belt, you can't touch your big toes, you can soften the knees until you touch them, or you can bring the belt, under the balls of the feet. Maybe we're up here. This is cool. Wherever you are, you inhale, try to lift the chest. And exhale, we fold. And fold over the feet. The elbows go slightly out. The shoulder blades squeezing in together. Three. Two. Gaze the tip of the nose. One, option to stay here, or option to go to the next pose, putting the hands 
under the feet. So the soles and the palms touch far down as you can get your hands under there. And then again, we lift, lift the heart and then we fold, trying to go a little deeper. Option to still be holding the toes. Option to still be working with our belts. Five. Four, three, two, one. Releasing your toes, releasing your feet. Inhale, coming all the way up, reaching your palms. And exhale, we step the feet back together. Stand with CP, top of our mat. Gonna go for a triangle pose. Inhale, right foot steps. Three, three and a half feet wide. Turn our right foot to the back of the mat. The left foot is towards the long side of the mat, 90 degrees. Arms open to a T. Reach as far forward as you can. The left foot is going to go back a little bit in a straight line. And then we come down into our triangle. Maybe we're trying to go as far, as long as we can. Our head's trying to get to the back of the mat. Arms in a straight line. So nice. Try to spiral your chest, the left chest up towards the ceiling. Four. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Three. Two. One. Inhale to the center. Come up. Inhale. Switch the feet. Right comes to the long side of the mat. Left to the front of the mat. Arms out, reach far forward as you can. Reach, reach, reach. And then you come down, maybe to the shin, maybe the thigh, the ankle, or the big toe. We're not trying to go to the floor, we're trying to go way further. Five. One side might be a bit stiffer than the other, that's okay. Four. Spiraling the chest, the right side of the chest spirals up and away, like you're trying to. Pull a bow of arrow and then reach the arm up. Pull and up. Pull and up. Two. One. Inhale and all the way up. And stepping top of our mat. Sam is CPE. Going to go for one more. Inhale, reach that right foot a bit wider this time. Three, three and a half feet. Right foot turns to the back of the mat. Bend into this knee, knees above your ankle, arms open wide, like a warrior two position. Inhale, reach as far as you can. Hand elbow comes to the knee, or you bring your hand outside of the right foot onto a block or a fist. Left hand either up to the sky or frame the ear, trying to make a straight line from your left toes to your right left fingertips. Look up to your fingers, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to the center, push the down right foot, come up. Turn the feet, left foot towards the back, the front of the mat, left knees bend like a warrior one position. The hips are open wide. Inhale, reach as far as you can. Exhale, come to the thigh or the block or the outside of the foot on the mat. Right arm is reaching up or framing the ear. One straight line from fingertips to toes. Five, lift up to the fingers, right hand. Four, this is bothering your neck, in which case you look down. Three, two, one, inhale up to the center, push to the left leg, and exhale, top of the mat. Sama CPH. We're going to go for one more forward full. Inhale, step wide. Three, three and a half, four feet. Three and a half, four feet. Okay. Both feet face towards the long side of the mat. Arms out wide. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the hips. Pull the elbows back, shoulders back. Inhale. Lengthen, pull the belly in, get long in the ribs. Exhale, hinge forward, weight comes forward. Halfway down, bring the hands to the mat. Keep bringing the weight forwards. Keep trying to go down. 
five, four, bring it away forwards, micro grab the knees if it's feeling bad on the hamstrings, three, no expectations, just keep on trying, two, One, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the hips, micro bend the knees. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna go for variation D. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold again. Slide the hands down the legs, maybe to get to the thighs or the shins, maybe to get to the big toes. If so, hold on to your big toes with your peace finger, middle and index finger. And fold again, chin to chest, elbows wide, shoulder blades apart, crown of the head, this time is reaching down, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, halfway lift, release the toes, Exhale, hands to the hips, micro bend the knees. Inhale, all the way up and exhale, step it back. Seven feet to key. Give your legs a little shake. Shake it out. We're going to go for a balancing posture, which is also a hip opener as well. So, our first balancing posture, Ida Hasan Padangrishtasana, hand to big toe, hand to big toe pose. So, we're going to back round it to the left foot. We're going to go for two rounds. We've got time. To Trying it a little further. And holding up to our right foot, our right knee even. Flex your foot. Just one hand, the other hand's gonna go on our hip area. Shoulders back. And we stay for five. Four. Find a drishti, find something to stare at, a point maybe on your wall. Three, two, one, opening that knee up wide, trying to open the hip joint as much as you can. Option two, shift the gaze to the left. Five, again, find something to stare. So it's going to help you keep that focus. Four, three, two, lose the balance. It's okay, just come back to it. One, and back to the center, both hands to the hips, five, keep it up, four, or we keep it bent for this one, the next round we're going to transfer, three, two, go in the other, don't give up, one, foot down, shake your right, shake your left, other side, ground into the right foot, lift up her left, hold the knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Open it wide. Trying to keep the left hip, the right hip exactly where it was, and the left hip is opening. Work this joint. Gaze to the right. Five, four, four three, two. One, back to the center, both hands to the hips, keep it there for five, keep the balance, lifting up tall like you're a puppet and someone's pulling you out of the strings in the top of your head. Four, three, elbows back, two, shoulders back, one, foot down, shake it out, shake it out. We're going to go one more time. One might just grab a cup. Depending on your hamstring flexibility. So you can have either like a resistance band, you're really good for doing this, or a strap or a sock. So option one, you hold the knee. Option two, we have a hand holding on to strap or a band or a sock or a scarf. I like red scarf, it's very nice. And stay for five. Thank you. Five. There we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Opening it 
and wide. Five, keep working this joint. Four, three, two, one. Back to the center, let's go. Five, let it drop, let it drop. Four, let the wrist drop, drop, not the foot. Three, let it go, let it go, it's okay. Two, one, down, nice. We change the feet. Last one. So whatever you're using, a strap, a bend, a scarf, lift it up. You want to have our, like we're holding some rings. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Do some extra counts. Any other one should do some extra counts. Two. One, opening it wide, work the joint, five, try not to counterbalance, keep it tall, four, three, this is hard, I'm sweaty, two, one, coming back to the center, let go, just let go, let it fall, it's okay, it can fall, it's a strap, three, five, four, keep lifting up, Two, feel like the femur oops, is pulling back into the socket. Three, two, one. Yay, we made it. Shake your legs. Shake your legs. And do one more balance. One more balance. Now, if you have half lotus in your practice already, awesome. You're going to go for a half lotus. Or if the half lotus is not in your practice, we come for this figure of four pose instead. So option A, figure of four. We're just above the knee on top of the thigh like we start the warm up. Option B, puts on top of her thigh. Nice. And hold here for a couple of seconds. See if you feel balanced, see if you feel stable. Option to bring the right hand behind your back. So you're holding onto your left elbow. And you stay here for a moment. How do we feel? With the option here, we can use the strap again, or we can try and hold our toes. Or right here. Or mm -hmm. here. And then the option again, we can stay here, or we can soften into the standing leg and start to fold forwards, forwards, forwards. Maybe coming down onto our block. Or chair. Or just come halfway, come to wherever you come. And wherever you are, we are standing up, we fold it forward, we stay for a three. Just another three, maybe you're long enough. Two. One. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale all the way up. When we change our feet, shake, shake, shake. Nice. Good job, everyone. Gonna go to the other side. Are we just sweaty? I'm pretty sweaty. I'm always sweaty. That's just some of those things about me. So, option A. We're in this figure four position. You're in figure four position. This is you. You're in your place. Awesome. Up here, in your half lotus position. Maybe this is where you are. All good. Option to hold the elbow. Option to use a strap, scarf, or whatever for the foot. Or option to hold those. Softening to the standing knee for going down. And maybe coming to the end of the block. Maybe to here. We're all the way down. And this time we're not going to stay for the full five. We spend less time getting in here. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the head. Exhale, all the way up. Whoa. Nice. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. 
back to the top of our mat. We're going to transition down to the floor. We're going to go from our chair pose. So bend the knees, swing to chair, swing your head a little bit. We hold this chair for a count of five. So we've got time to really get into our chair. If your feet are together, your knees are hugging together. If your feet are apart, your knees are the same distance. Four. Weight in the back of the feet, lift the arms. If it's easy for you, palms touch. Three, two, keep breathing, you lay there, one, sit deep, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, plant the palm, step or hop back, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Alright, from a downward dog, we're stepping forwards, getting down, feet in front, or jumping through. Next, good jumps. Dandasana position. Oh, my glasses are sweaty. I hate them. Dandasana position. Our sitting bones ground down. Feet are in front of us. The feet are flexed. Hands by your side. Tuck your chin to the chest. Mm -hmm. Look to your big toes. Five. Engage the kneecaps, flex those feet, floor. Three, try to lift up as tall as you can. Two, one, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, try to reach as far as you can. Hold the big toes over, hold the sides of the feet. Five, we're gonna go for two rounds. Four, three, elbows hugging out, leading with our chest, two, one, option to go a little further if you're holding your ankles, maybe you hold the toes, if you hold the toes, maybe the outside of the feet, outside of the feet, try and interlace the fingers or bring a block behind you. And hold again, five. Or gaze at the the toes or the nose if your head is very far down. Four, three, three. Motion as well as always. Hold the belt. Two. One. Release the feet. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Cross your ankles. Hands forwards. Vinyasa. Body weight forwards. Lift the hips up. Step it back. Lower it down. Chaturanga. Knees chest in. Upward facing dog. Look up. Deep breath in. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath out. Look forwards. You're going to jump through. Start the dog. Onto the blocks. Bend the knees. Let the frog. Look where you're going and beyond. And jumping through. I'm going to go to Janish Shrishasana. So I'm going to shake the pose order a little bit. I'm going to face this way so you can see a bit easier. Left leg extends, right leg comes down, puts alongside the body. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hinge forwards and down. Maybe you hold the ankle, the shin, or the wrist, the left wrist. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back to seated. We're going to switch. We're going to skip the vinyasa. Let right leg extends. Left foot in beside the foot. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, go down. Option for shins or belts, ankles. Or holding the right wrist with the left hand. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, come up. Exhale, cross the ankles. Come down. Inhale, lift up the hips. Step it back. My plan. Exhale, try to run. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, 
boundaries of them. Again, we're stepping forward, or jumping, sitting down. We're going to go for the same one we did on the when we're standing up. So our left leg is extended, and option either figure four or this half lotus y shape. Which one feels right? You can go down with both arms together, or you can come around with your hands, look for those toes, try and square off the shoulders. And then lift up wherever you are. Inhale, reach your arms. Find your place. Exhale, pull. Kind of pull the ribs over that foot as far as you can. Reaching up, reaching over. Now, wherever you're getting to, you're half down, half lotus, down, half lotus. Five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale to come up. Exhale to switch your feet. So our right foot comes straight, left knee, half, or all the way up into the groin. Option to go hands, both hands down, or you're going to reach around, trying to grab those toes, or again, we can use the strap. Try to straighten out the shoulders and then we fall down again. Trying to lift the wrists up and over, up and over. Five, four, three, two. One, inhale, halfway up. Exhale here. Get ready for the vinyasa again. Option for vinyasa or seated cat and cow. And for seated cat and cowing, we're across our, eyes, our feet. Inhale, opening the chest. And exhale, drawing it in. Your joints. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. We're going to go for one more seated posture before we get to something a bit weirder. So this time, our left leg is extended and our right foot comes behind us. If this is new to you. I suggest sitting on something like a block or a cushion on the left side. So the right knee is bent. And the left has something to kind of prop it up so the hips are a bit more even, especially if this is a new pose. So we're not sitting on the right heel, it's just alongside, yeah? From here, we reach your arms up, and we fold forward. As far as you go, maybe you hold the ankle, maybe the foot, maybe the left wrist. We stay for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, lift, gut, exhale, come back up. We change the sides. So if you're sitting on something, remove it, sit down, change your legs. Right leg, it sends. Left foot comes behind again, foot's just beside you. You're not sitting on it. Option to bring a block or something just underneath that sitting bone so we're totally level. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lengthen, reach, and exhale, go down. Five, gaze the big toe or tip of the nose. Try and make sure that the back of the neck is long. So if you feel behind you, there's all these crinkles of skin. It is not straight and you're looking up. Three, two, one, inhale, up. Exhale, come up, remove our block. Option for vinyasa or seated cat and cat. Oh, actually, no, no option. We're all going to do it. Everybody, vinyasa. We do the upward dog. Whoops. And downward dog. So everyone's back here in a downward dog. And we're going to go for our buji padasana. It's a funny hippie thing. So we're going to step forwards. Like a frog, 
So our feet are wide, wide as our mats. We're going to sit down into the Vulasana squat for just a second. We're going to rock from side to side in our squats. Be happy, comfortable, see deep spring. Yeah, your hips feel. You feel okay? You feel comfortable here? Is it the knees that are bothering you here? Is it the ankles? Or is it the hips if you're not comfortable? All right, lifting up half our way, half our hips. Lifting this up, and then we're trying to bring shoulders behind. Shoulders behind. And to get the knees on, the on top of the shoulders. And the fingers come down. Maybe you can bring the hands flat. Or we have blocks. Bring our hands for blocks. Hang out here for just a moment. Lifting the hips up and bring the hips down so that they're tucking on the thighs and squishing in onto the biceps. Lifting the hips up and down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Come back to our yogi squat. Release. Release the hands. A little shake. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Circle, circle, circles. All right. Let's try again. So behind. Hands on the blocks, hands on the mat. And this time try to roll backwards. And go backwards onto the toes. Point your toes. Back. Backwards, find the toes and back. Find the toes and then lift one up and we go back. And wait backwards, lift your left toes up Whoop. and back. And then we can see you can go all the way, lift one, lift two, and squeeze the knees in and try and cross the feet. Squeeze there. Are you ready? Down. Shake, 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 shake. Like this as well. A bit more release up here. Nice. Okay. Right, one more try. Sounds box. Ready? One more try. I thought one more try. Okay. Feet are wide. I grow the last of the feet. One shoulder behind, another shoulder behind. Bring the hands down. Sit into it. Just sit down on top of your own arm. And lean backwards. Lift the foot. Try the other foot. Try to balance and hug the knees in. Hug the feet in so the feet cross. You're super close. I think you're there, Britt. You're nearly there. Nice. Push through the heels of the hands. Hug it in and up. And to release, you release the feet. Up. And step back. Back to our plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. And we're putting ourselves back and seated, ready to lie down. Keeping a strap or something very close to us. We come to lie down. There you go. We're going to go again with our hands to big toe, but this time we're lying down. So, hands to big toe pose, both legs are straight. Use our strap handy in your hand. Our right leg's coming up. And we're hooking the strap to that foot. So, we're holding it with our right hand. Our hands will be done. Our left toes are pointed straight down. Left hand on top of your left hip to remind the hip to stay where it is. The first hip feet. All right. So find the resistance point with your left leg, pulling it closer towards you, and then lift up your nose. Try and engage your core so you're lifting your nose up towards your thigh. We stay in five, four. Three, 
two, one, exhale, let the head go down, shoulders down, and then we're bringing your right foot to the side, trying to keep the hip, left hip where it is, using the inner thigh to work, outer thigh to work, five, four, three, One, coming back up through the center. Inhale, lift your nose again. Exhale, let the head go down. Inhale, let your foot go all the way down. Little shake on the right. To go again, left side, left leg comes up. Hook the belt, the strap, band around your foot. Right hand to the right thigh. Toes point on your right foot. Inhale, lift the nose up towards your foot. Five, four, left hand has a strap. Three, two, one, exhale, head down. Inhale, left foot goes out to the left, right hip stays. Five, four, working the hip joint, three, two, one, inhale up to the center, exhale, nose to knee, inhale, head goes down to the mat, exhale, foot goes down to the mat. Put your strap over to the side, hug your knees in towards the body, and rock you from right to left. Left to right, we're going to do a super fast move to the finishing sequence, just with our shoulder stand and halasana, and then back to fish pose. So, we're going to rock and roll up and down the spine, up and down, back to front. And then finding your shoulder stand variation for today, whether it's just on the back with the feet up, good option, or you can have your block supporting the sacrum or pushing all the way up into our shoulder stand. Supporting the lower back with the hands, toes going straight up, hips forward, push forward, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs together, staying for five. Four, three, two, one, slowly lowering the feet down behind our heads. Maybe the toes touch, maybe they don't. If you're still 45 degrees, the feet are 90 degrees of the feet, keep the hands supporting the back. If the toes are touching, the hips are pushing up towards the sky, interlace the fingers. Press them into the mat behind you. And stay for another five, four, three, two, keep your head still, one, palms flat on the mat behind you. These are your breaks, lowering the back, all the way down to the mat, and then the feet all the way down as well. Slowly, slowly, push the core so that you don't pump down. And then bringing the right hand under the right buttock, left hand under the left, fish pose. Pushing into our elbows so our legs are nice and straight. Hands underneath your butt, palms down. Using your elbows to push your chest up, look towards your toes, and then relax the head, neck, so the crown comes down. Push up through the elbows. If you're pushing through the chest, you grow chest, chest long, opening up the throat. 
Three, four, five. Keep going the toes. Lengthening. Lengthening. Four. Through the body. Through the trunk. Three. Two. One. Inhale. Chin to chest. Lift the head. Exhale. Bring it down. Release the hands. Shake, shake, shake. Reach your arms over the head. Lengthen. Get long. Hug the knees into the chest. Come on, rolling up and down. Rock and roll again. To seated. Coming to sit on our mats. Option A. Cross leg. Option B. Half lotus. Option C. Full lotus. Here for a moment, seeing are we comfortable? Are the knees happy? Are the hips happy? Especially the knees. Okay, if you're happy, you're not going to change your position. Bring the hands behind you, hold your elbows. Last three poses of the series. Are you ready? Inhale, lengthen, get long. Exhale, fold again. Try to pull the ribs over the foot. So you come forwards, forwards down. Maybe the toe, the nose comes to touch. Maybe you come to your block with the forehead. Good day for count of ten. Long breaths, slow and steady. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And now to come up. We're going to switch the feet over. So whatever foot's on top, we're going to switch it. So if you're a cross leg like this, simply switch your half lotus, the half lotus, your full lotus, the full lotus. And you're getting a bit more even into this pose. This time the fingers and the first finger, the thumb touch. Three fingers are straight and together. Straight arms, hands and the knees, palms up. First finger is touching, thumbs down. There we go. Tuck your chin to your chest. Get tall, and we breathe here with sound, gaze, sit the nose for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, don't forget the pandas. Probably going to touch the navel. Five. Two. One. Again, if we're, we're going to switch. So switching the cross leg, switching the half lotus, or the full lotus. We're always changing. We have our blocks, or our last clothes, or some books, something to help to wipe this up a little bit. Or we're just trying to lift up just the butt. Can the knees be down? Trying to lift up your butt. Following through the body, rounding through the upper back. Ready? We're only going to go for five. Lift. Five. Push, 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 push. Four. Hug the belly in, hug the knees in, and up three. Keep trying, even if you're just not even quite off the ground. Keep trying, it's okay. Two, nearly there. You're lifting up, right? I can see it. Lift up, lift up, one more try. Lift up, lift up, lift up. One. Nice. And if you keep 
come out. So we're pulling into a vinyasa, come right up. High plank. Knee, chest and chin, last one. Four seconds left. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Forward, come to standing, feet together. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, Luca. Exhale, palms to the chest. Come to our hearts. And seal the practice with one long round of OM. Breathing in to prepare. And how to raise the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, one cobra. Exhale, downward facing, two forwards. Step, hop, come to lying down, and take rest. Feet apart, hands wide, take rest. Be covering the eyes. Jump all relax and fall open the path. Passing through the shoulders, the wrists, through the feet and through the hips. Relaxing the eyes, the lips. Relaxing through the forehead, through the cheeks. Each exhale. Relaxing through the chest. Letting each breath. your body and allow it to surrender to the mat, to the practice. Breathing deep inhalation, long deep through the nose. Sigh the mouth to the mouth. And 
awakening the body, breath, energy, love. Wiggling into the fingers and the toes. Moving the ankles and the wrists. Slowly, slowly, and gently. Maybe moving the head from side to side, keeping the eyes closed for just a moment. Reaching your arms up over the head. Stretch the arms, the feet, the trunk, like waking up in the morning. And hug the knees into your chest and give yourself a tight and compassionate hug full of love, warmth, and gratitude. Thank your body for trying and doing so many awesome things. Is there anything that you'd like to tell yourself in this moment? And then come to seated, either rocking to the right, to the left, or coming up, straight up, finding a way to be seated, your eyes closed, spine straight. Sitting for a moment. Your palms to your heart. Fingertips touching and to the mudra. Give our head and thanks for the practice. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending your, air, your energy with me today. You have an awesome Monday. The right start.